safe and sound in Abu Dhabi and this is my face after five hours of sleep and because it's currently 35 degrees outside we're not going outside yet all right so today is the day after and that's because yesterday I haven't filmed anything because we got some issues and we had to take care of those so first issue was the fact that even though you're like free to travel to Abu Dhabi without a PCR test, you're supposed to do one after you're arriving because otherwise you can't get anywhere. You can go into malls, you can get to like visit stuff. So that was the first thing that we had to do because we didn't know that we need to do that. But in the same time, we can still use like the uh, facilities of the hotel and that includes the beach as well. And the second issue that we had, when we arrived, we were checked in in the wrong room and then we were checked in in another room that wasn't our room. So because of this whole misunderstanding, they upgraded our room. So everybody's happy. And right now when I'm recording this video, I just posted my silently unboxing the most expensive thing that I ever bought. And that's this laptop right here. So if you want, you can go and check that one out as well. So that being said, this video is probably going to be all over the place and I don't even know if I'm going to use this footage, but while I'm waiting for my PCR result, I can do anything besides what I said, like using uh, the pool and stuff like that, like in the proximity of the hotel. And because I don't want to be boring, I'm going to show you the view that I have in front of my eyes through a time lapse. So here it is. One eternity later. One eternity later, we both got our results and both of them are negative. So right now we're taking a shower and then we're going into the city. Marina Mall. Angie never tried Shake Shack, so of course this was the first thing that we had to cut off from that to-do list. Three hours later. So we just came back from the mall and our win for today is the fact that we found these Starbucks cups. We wanted these cups for a while now and we are so happy that we found them. So we took two out of the four that we found at that Starbucks and we are really happy because we couldn't find this in Bucharest. And that's your pro tip right there. If you don't have any kind of tripod with you for your bigger camera, you just need to improvise. We started day number five pretty chill with a little swim in the morning. We ordered some cocktails and then after a little browsing on the internet, we decided that in the afternoon, we're gonna go to another mall so we can eat at five guys. And to buy a pair of sunglasses that we couldn't find in other places. A few moments later, and yeah, she likes Shake Shack more. We wrapped up the day with an Italian dinner and then we chilled a little more on the beach. Ok, 
Okay, so this is not the last day. We still have two more days here and I just wanted to say a couple of things. One, I've been in some places before that were pretty big but nothing as big as this thing. So this whole experience is new to me. And the second thing that I wanted to say, I just uh, re-watched uh, Fast 7 last night and I forgot that one scene with the Lycan Hypersport was actually filmed here. So that was a nice thing to remember. So now I'm just gonna show you some other views. So we are staying at the Conrad Hotels that was previously named, I think, Jumeirah, if I'm not wrong. They are under Etihad Towers label and right now I'm going in front so I can show you uh, the towers, how they are looking, so you can match them with the scene if you watched uh, Fast 7. So the car fell down there somewhere and this is the location. So right now when I was explaining that thing, the security guy came with me because he saw me with a camera and the microphone and he wasn't sure what I was doing. And after I explained, he was like, okay, all right, that's fine. You can use that thing, but you really need to be like really careful what you're doing and what you're filming and most importantly, who you're filming. So. You need to like respect the privacy of people, otherwise you're gonna get a fine. And another thing that I love about this place is the fact that here you have almost everything. You even have like a mini mall here so you can go and buy everything that you want. Even though you're here for traveling, you can always stay only at the hotel without like going anywhere. And if that wasn't enough, after I stopped talking, I saw that right in front of me we have this Aston Martin dealership where you can come and buy a new car if you want and if you have the money of course. And if that Aston Martin dealership is not enough for you, you have these two uh, buildings that are your neighbors and they are looking awesome. thing that I love about this place is that you have this kind of view from the elevator. Quick outfit change, we're not going to the Grand Mosque, I'm gonna leave this camera at home, I'm gonna take the A7 II with me just to take photos and the whole video is going to be on the DJI Osmo action so let's hope it's gonna look alright. entrance or the walking tours are free and you need to respect the dress code if you want to go inside and if you're asking yourself why the Grand Mosque is special well the Grand Mosque is special because it is one of the largest mosques in the world it features 82 domes 1000 columns 24 carat chandeliers and the world's largest hand knotted carpet so yeah 
it's safe to say that the Grand Mosque is an architectural work of art. So we just finished the tour at the Grand Mosque. I hope the sound is alright because I'm filming on the Osmo action right now. I'm pretty sweaty because it's pretty hot outside and I just wanted to tell you a couple of things. One, if you're a male or female, it doesn't really matter. Don't come in shorts because you need to like cover your ankles and your legs and stuff like that. So that's the first thing. The second thing, you're not allowed to like take photos everywhere, like wherever you want. There are like photo spots where you can go and take photos. And third, be prepared because it's going to be like pretty packed. Another thing that you should know is the fact that even if it's really hot outside, you're not gonna go like through the heat to the mosque from where the taxi is gonna leave you. You can actually like go underneath and you're going to like through like these two ways like in the airport and yes, there is AC inside. The next day we visited the Louvre in Abu Dhabi and here are some things that you should know about this museum. Abu Dhabi reportedly paid France 525 millions to acquire the rights to the Louvre name for 30 years. Considered one of the modern urban wonders of the world, the Louvre Abu Dhabi is not only the Arab world's first universal museum but also a powerful symbol of the United Arab Emirates. Ambition and achievement, the centerpiece of the novel's vision is a huge silvery dome that appears to float above the museum city. Overall, the Louvre Abu Dhabi has modern design with elements of water and light throughout and the space is a beautiful setting to explore the many pieces of art in it. So the minibus just came and we are leaving the Conrad. It's 2.25 or 2.30. first security check and we check in our luggage we are now getting ready to see what gate we're gonna have okay so we're gonna see the gate at 455 Hours and then five more hours to book her, so I have a lot of time to edit. <laughs> 